if you saw how hard that he worked every day, then you would understand why he's able to do the thing that he, the things that he does. First and foremost is being a leader, you know, knowing how to talk to my teammates in a certain way at certain times, you know, what, what, what makes them tick, and uh, also just, just working, just keep working on my jump shot, you know, ball handling, passing, and things like that. Sean sends it low, Kane drop step layup, good, pretty play and good ball movement, three passes and they got it to Kane. First year I was like kind of like a deer headlight, so I didn't really know uh, what was going on, I mean, I knew how to play basketball, but I didn't know how to play at that level yet, you know, and Coach Lato has really helped me in growing as an individual off the court and on the court. And uh, I think now I'm, I'm matured enough, you know, know how to make certain plays at certain times because we definitely began a lot of double and triple teams out there. And before I try to force things, force the issue a lot, but this year I, I know how to get everybody else involved, and I think that's a direct correlation to the relationship that me and Coach Lato had. He's definitely somewhat of a father figure. You know, he doesn't, he, he wants us to be great basketball players, but first and foremost, he wants us to be, you know, great individuals off the court. And uh, he's just teaching us life lessons, I mean, through his experiences. Just his work ethic alone is just, is just, is just unparalleled to anybody else, so. That's why, that's why he's able to do the things that he does, really. I try to shoot 600 a day, but also I've learned from coaches um, that you also need to get an adequate amount of rest, so you just can't really go overboard. You have to definitely get some rest. And playing the schedule we were playing, you, you, you definitely rest at all time, and time to take care of your body. For three in the win, off the back of the rim, Cavs win! I'm very proud of the accomplishments that we've uh, made and the strides that we've taken over the years. Uh, I definitely think that we could be in a better position right now. But, you know, we, we've made some mistakes, nobody's perfect. And uh, that's something to shoot for next year. So I'm definitely proud of my teammates. They really stepped up in big ways and in big games. <clears throat> they definitely take care of their business off the court and things like that. So it's really looking up. His ability to shoot, his speed, his defense has gotten a lot better, and he energizes us and, uh, and, and with his spirit and as well as his play. Yeah, I definitely want to prove on everything, but when I work on everything, it all comes down to just being consistent, you know, doing everything the right way over the long period of time. I've never been to the tournament, and I uh, can't wait to get there. You know, I like to take everything step by step because when you look past, you know, the, the short term, Really, you never get to the long term. As he continues to play well, the teams will start, you know, doing a lot more to stop him. But um, and, and until that happens, you know, we're just happy to, to have him because he's he's been spectacular. Everybody can get better. Anybody will tell you, any competitor will tell you that, you know, that they're never at their best. They're always working and trying to get to perfection. <laughs>